So we just completed a hoop net catfish survey in the main stem Susquehanna River. Pulling up on these nets each time so I kid at Christmas, what's going what's to be in this net? You know, I've done this hundreds of times, but I still kind of have that little excitement each time we pull up on a net to see what we're going to find. And today we found three really large flag catfish. And the work we're doing today is coupled with some other research projects we're doing at Penn State. My name is Megan Shaw. I'm an assistant professor of biology at Penn State Hazleton and I do a lot of research on the Susquehanna River. So this project is looking at how flathead catfish are potentially altering the other fish species and maybe having them change their habits and behaviors, including things like feeding patterns. These are big fish, people like to catch them, but there's that catch-22 that goes with them. There's a lot of potential negative effects we might not fully understand. We, we thought they were pretty broad predator that they would eat whatever they'd encounter and it seems to be the case which is pretty fascinating but also a little scary thinking about what all they're eating and what that means for those fish. There's a trade-off there that we're going to have to fully understand and that's what we're working to do is understand what what the impacts of the species moving in are you know, to try to negate them moving them to other places uh, where they might have a, a larger impact. It could uh, lead to a loss of species over time and it can also just change the natural dynamics within the environment and make things not as uh, easy for other ones to survive. We'll take our set of surveys from throughout the throughout the area and then compare them and contrast them to see how that on the broader scale has changed over time. Unless we get a smaller one. As a state agency we're the trust we manage the resources of trust for this for the public so knowing how these populations we have here currently affect the existing population is understanding how we manage these fisheries for kind of to maintain them throughout into the future.